past few days, the past week, I've seen some interesting articles, even on Star City. Uh, Sam Black was talking. He, he worked on like a uh, Tensor Tezzeret build, and uh, Mike Flores has been kind of pushing the mono white control. And uh, right. he also is working on like a, a Tezzeret Infect build as well. So Absolutely. those are some interesting new decks. Um, hopefully, we'll see some people rocking those. Here today, we have 488 players joining us here in uh, in Boston. On your screen, you can see on your left, Christian Colcano, his opponent, Edwin, you know, I'm going to say Hinojosa, it could be Hinojosa, <laughs> but uh, besides, uh, besides Christian Colcano, some names you might recognize, Jerry Thompson. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any, anyone else of note? Uh, Brian Kibler is actually here. I yeah. talked to him a little while earlier. Um, we've got the, uh, the Star City Ringers here. We, I've seen uh, Alex Bernicini, uh AJ Sockers here. I right. believe I saw Edgar Flores as well. Right. Um, I know uh, from the local area, uh, Melissa Dottora and Brian Lynch are here, yeah. for those of you who are local fans. Quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of interesting people in the crowd. I, I saw uh, KYT from ManaDeprived.com and the A-Team podcast, the Crazy Talk podcast. He's on a number of podcasts. Uh, yeah. He's... Uh, He's a good guy. I think this is this may be his first Star City event. He's from Canada, so he drove down. Right. In uh, former Arizona sem semi-pro, Tony T-Pup Palioka is here. For those of you who are back in the MTG Pro or MTG Wacky days, it's a long time ago. Yeah, that's a name I don't recognize. <laughs> uh, former U.S. national team member, Carl Dillahay. Okay. Christian Calcano taking a mulligan. This is game three, as you can see on your screen. Um, we had had another match yeah. set to go, but by the time that uh, we were ready, apparently an Inferno Titan had killed somebody twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so uh, I, I don't know if that deck was rug or if it was uh, mono red. Right. It was what? Yeah, it was a big red mono red deck. 2-0, quickly rolling his opponent, playing playing Valakut. Now, I'm going to say, having played a lot of Big Red lately, because I'm trying to get that deck to work, Valakut is a hard matchup. I'm going to... I'm, yeah, uh, I'm going to... Apparently, the guy that won thought it was unwinnable. I'm going to bet that the Valakut player in that matchup might have been playing a Lotus Cobra build, and maybe got his Cobras killed, yeah. or else... Oh, here we go. we got to start. Edwin on the play with a first turn preordain. That's, uh, that's a popular turn one play. I think it's standard right now. <laughs> now, I've definitely read a lot of work about Cobblade. I'm not sure what we have on the opponent's side. We have Raging Ravine, so probably Rug, given yeah. Christian Calcano's background. It may be Rug, rug Mirror. Rug. Yeah. There we go. There's the Cobra. I know a lot of people have, uh, have just been talking about how big of an impact that Cobra <coughs> has. It's just, you know on the format in general, you got an Invalicate. Invalicate lists are now starting to run it. It's obviously a staple in uh, in Rug. And it's just like, the, the I think it's the number one uh, target, I think, for uh, for removal when, you know, in the early turns, besides uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. It's interesting because Lotus Cobra is a card that gives you a lot of power, but at the same time, by placing it in your deck, it's not a very stable means of power. One toughness right. is pretty easy to deal with. Okay. Turn three. Now, obviously, Edwin has a huge advantage here having yeah. Cobra versus no Cobra. He casts Explore here, and he could just do a whole ton of hurt on Christian right now. Yeah, he's definitely got a Scalding Tone in hand, which oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Uh, and a Raging Rapine. So, so. Uh, and he says oh, go. He Nothing to do with all of that mana. No, no gas. Christian here. Uh, Looking for his opening. Cast Explore. Seems like Christian is just a turn behind everything that Edwin does, except uh, Christian didn't happen to get the Cobra. Yeah, which almost makes him like two oh, turns behind. Turns behind. <laughs> the only thing uh, looking in Calcano's favor right now is that Edwin didn't have a way to capitalize on all that, right. uh, all that explosive I'm, mana. I'm, right now, if I were Christian, whether or not it's in my deck after sideboarding, I would love to have a bolt just to burn that yeah. Cobra. Yeah, because as soon as Edwin top decks something, you know, a Titan or, or anything, uh, anything significant. Oh, look at Christian's face there. He's not happy. 
just thinking, oh. man, I wish I kept those bolts in. He might, he might have <laughs> he them right in there, you know? yeah, It's one of those interesting questions, because obviously Bolt in this matchup basically hits Cobra, and it can hit Oracle. Yeah. And other than that, you've got to do a lot of work to kill something. Pretty much, yeah. And he can keep up with a Mana Leak here. A Mana Leak can yeah. stop, you know, some stuff, but that Cobra can make Mana Leak much worse. Yeah. There Where we are. The Bolt. Now, he's doing this during the upkeep, partly because with the Cobra and that fetch land, Edwin could just mana leak it right away. And so he wants to take out the mana for Edwin during the upkeep. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a mana leak most likely here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He didn't crack that fetch for no reason. <laughs> oh, then again, he could have. Flash, flash freeze, freeze works too. We are in game three after all. I think I just saw a mana leak. Might be a preordain, but uh, so Edwin and he has plays hands. A second region of me. Yep. Yeah, that's a mana leak. Tax for two. If we don't count the lands, that's first blood. Yeah. Alright, so Christian. Jace? Yes, it is. Jace. And there's a mana the leak for Jace. Yep. And a Halimar Depths to, uh, to do a rough approximation of Jace's, uh, <laughs> Jace's first ability. Right, right. And, well, couldn't have the Jace, or at least get something of a brainstorm out of it. It's like three cards in Christian's hand. And is that one card for Edwin? I believe that's... That's what it looks like to me, yeah. Yep. I think I, I see an explore. explore. And he's, uh... Edwin going on the attack with the Raging yep. Ravine and the Lotus. Six Lotus. damage. Once that Ravine's at four, like four power, Soon to be five. That's actually much more difficult to deal with. Yeah. I think we might see a Titan here, though. Yeah, we could. I mean, uh, Edwin being tapped out. And Christian on his sixth land. I think that's that may be Christian's only hope at the moment. There we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Making a game of it. Inferno Titan comes down, kills the, the Cobra, and uh, did two damage to Edwin. I think that's a Mana Leak, amongst the other things that are there. Yeah, it looks like a Mana, mana Leak. Mana Leak Preordain. And we know he has Explore. But, uh, yeah, Raging Ravine is one of those cards that... Uh, I, I think whenever whenever somebody's playing it against me, it's one that I just I'm always kind of afraid of. If, if I don't pay attention to it, it's, it seems to come out of nowhere if I forget about it. Edwin says go, which means that that Inferno Titan, that guy can hit for six plus three for his Arc Lightning yeah. plus two. That's eleven if he wants it. He's probably not going to go that far in, but just nine, just nine, yeah, one just one just hit nine. and a kill. Completely free of blue mana on the other side. There's this Jace is going to come without any problems whatsoever. Yeah. And uh, looks like it's getting a brainstorm. Yeah, Chris, Christian right back in this game. Edwin had the the fast start, but couldn't couldn't take right. advantage of it. Right. It's the ramp without anything to ramp into. Yeah. I think he might have kept on Lotus Cobra plus uh, Flash Freeze. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't seem too bad if he thinks, you know, I'm, I have he had a preordain. Maybe he would, uh, he would dig into some gas, but it doesn't look like it. And from the reaction on his face right now, it looks oh. like he's still not... Uh, yeah, I think that's a forest. Is, I mean, it's definitely a forest in his hand. I'm not sure if that was what he drew, but I think it was. And that forest is not going to do much to stop... Uh, a Titan and a Planeswalker. Yeah, I mean, what he essentially needs right now is access to either Double Bolt or, if not that, something unusual like uh, 
a volition reigns and to have that resolve because if he just drops a Inferno Titan, Jace will just bounce it and then Christian will kill him. Yeah. Yep. There, yeah, it, there is. it is. There it is. Right, so that's the uh, that's the match. Christian Calcano takes the uh, takes the opposing rug deck down. Takes down the rug mirror. That is.